the crisis in River State, where there seems to be no end in sight to uh, the ongoing political concerns which have now led to the demolition of the House of Assembly complex in the state capital, Port Harcourt. On one side, uh, lawmakers who've threatened to impeach the governor. On the other, the governor himself is fighting to protect his mandate. Senior reporter Ujo Kuro has the latest on the unfolding events. The drama in River State is yet to end. Sounds of bulldozers tearing down the River State House of Assembly complex. Just like past administrations, the building has been a casualty of the power tussle between Governor Similala Ifubara and his predecessor, Nyesum Wike. As speculation about who could be behind it began to gain momentum, the state government claimed responsibility. But rather than confirming that it was a strategy to stop the 27 lawmakers who defected to the APC from sitting, the government said demolition became necessary due to structural damage to the building. His Excellency also commissioned uh, consultants who went into the structure and came up with uh, an advice that uh, it was no longer habitable and not very conducive for business. On the strength of that advice, the government had decided to demolish that structure. Less than two hours into the demolition, Governor Simnala Ifubara proceeded to present the 2024 budget proposal of 800 billion naira to the State House of Assembly led by Edison Ehie. This group of lawmakers held plenary at a temporary chamber provided for them within the government house. Governor Fubara tags it the budget of renewed hope, consolidation and continuity. As you know, desperate situation called for desperate measure. I assure you of our determination to weather the raging storm strategically and responsibly. Mr. Edison here, who presided over the sitting, commended the governor's vision for economic transformation as captured in the budget. He assured that the House, under his leadership, would give accelerated hearing to the budget. I appreciate you wholeheartedly for keying into the requirements of the Constitution by aligning yourself with a renewed hope agenda of the federal government and by our very president. The drama continued with Mr. Edison here declaring the seats of the 27 lawmakers who defected to the All Progressives Congress vacant. These were the same group of lawmakers led by Martin Samehule who threatened to withhold their consent should the governor approach them with a request for approval of funds. <laughs> Meanwhile, for the All Progressives Congress, the ex-party order affirming Edison here as speaker is an action in futility. It is preposterous that Justice Zanagogo could berate the NJC who had decided against the granting of revolves frivolous ex-party by judges and had punished erring judges and justices who ventured. Different orders from the judiciary have added another layer of controversy to the recent happenings in the River State House of Assembly. The law. This has compelled the police to tread with utmost caution. There is no breakdown of law and order. Necessary policing is going on. And at the same time, I want to beg parents to warn their children not to be used by canon folders, by people willing to pay for their services. For now, high-level meetings of the police legal team have been ongoing while monitoring developments in the judiciary. The orders from the court of uh, coordinate jurisdictions and what we're going to do is to stand at the middle. We stand at the middle to ensure that there is no breakdown of law and order. The state government says they would rebuild the complex, even though they haven't said when or how long that would take. For now, that is what is left of the legislative arm of government. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.